I am notorious on my channel. I'm not a big fan of motion, but I do honestly, and this is not planned or anything like that. This is probably one of the best motion experiences that I've ever had. Super subtle, it doesn't do too much, um, and it just feels, uh, it feels really good. I think the haptics make up for what a lot of motion systems try to do, and it gives the right amount of info. I think the, the seatbelt tensioners are really good. I felt that it was pushing, uh, and, uh, some of the forces were going to the seat and not onto my chest, whereas in real life, there's a little bit that goes onto the seat, but more that goes on here. Maybe it's because I was right into the seat. Uh, it was kind of pulling on air, it wasn't pulling on my chest, just, just the angle of the seat, I think. But they're all little tiny things that could be adjusted, trying to be as critical as I can. Uh, but for me to say that it's one of the best motion experiences, uh, that's pretty cool. And the butt kickers, do they... Uh, absolutely, ex absolutely excellent. The gear changes, all those little subtleties uh, were, were really, really good when the car started to slide, because it's not the most planted car. So you can feel all that. Uh, it's, it's pretty good for that. Uh, I, uh, I, I enjoy haptics. I, I'm on the record saying that haptics, haptic feedback is better than motion. But this motion, this is an excellent experience. Wow, thank you. And did you feel the haptics on the seat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I felt uh, the corners, uh, it, it may be a little bit difficult to always identify which corner, but it was definitely coming from the right areas uh, and under my pedal tray as well. So your pedal tray, it's like it's, uh, I don't know, it, it seems very connected to the haptics. I often feel that haptics get lost in pedal trays and they get lost when they're bolted to the side of a rig. Uh, the, the rig gets a lot of the forces. I felt like I was getting the forces. Uh, and I don't know how you're, if you've got isolators on there or how you're doing it. Yes, we do isolate. So we actually have some, you know, engineering trickery that goes on be it underneath the tray to make sure that you feel left and right and front and back. Because I, am I right in saying that you're running these haptics maybe at about 50%? Yeah. Yeah, so most people put them at 100, they shake the whole house and the apartment below and they don't feel anything in their rig because it's bolted to a corner or something. You know, they don't have it in the right. So the, the mounting position is, is super, super important. That's awesome. And also underneath here. Yeah, the sound is great. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's nice now. If I had a, a, an isolated environment, like a garage environment or something, uh, I would love that because you don't need super quality sound, you just need the right information. And when you have the haptics, so as sim racers, we rely on sound a lot for tires and all that once you start introducing haptics and good motion you, you don't rely on it as much it becomes a side effect of what you're doing rather than something that you need in order to be better so uh, having the sound there I think is good uh, and I'm not sure how that how that all fits together but it, 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 it sounds good awesome fantastic thank you